On our interview segment, we caught up with the president of the Nigerian Institute of Architects, architect Mobilaji Adeniyi. She spoke to us on a number of issues, including how she intends to reposition the profession to contribute its quarter to the growth and development of Nigeria's economy under her leadership as the president. Hear her. So let's go to your uh, tenure as the president. I, I came across where we were talking about the United Agenda for Architects in Nigeria. What is this all about? Okay, it's actually the Unite Agenda. Oh, Unite. Yes, agenda. Unite Agenda. And the first one is you. You is for unity. Uh, I'm sure you agree with me that there's strength in unity. And when all architects come together as a body, we can actually fight quack. You'll be able to identify where quarks are operating and you'll be able to stand together, you know, as a united um, association to be able to deliver properly to our nation. And so we need to unite ourselves. And like I said, there are different cadres of membership in the Institute. I've told you there's some members who are not yet registered. We bring them on, get sure, make sure that they also get the necessary tutelage and pupillage to be able to do the exams and get registered. So we're uniting by being inclusive, making sure that all the cadres of membership, you know, are, got, are together to be able to form, form a strong, formidable team. That's the first one. And then we have the end, which is a non-negotiable integrity, accountability, which is also very important. We are in a situation where you find so much compromise, even amongst many professionals, not just architects, but our institute stands for integrity, accountability, and transparency. We handle um, so much money for the clients. We are expected to be men and women of integrity, in all that we do, do not compromise, not with standards, not with materials, not with the builders, you know. So it's very important for us to emphasize this. And I am re-emphasizing it, particularly in our nation now, where a lot of standards are forming. It's very important for us to emphasize this. That's for the end. I is the inclusivity. We need to ensure that every architect is carried along. You know, sometimes we have the young architects who are not very happy with the older architects. They feel that the older architects are not so concerned about what they're facing. Most of the older architects were in the country when things were really good. There was a lot of money. Architects were doing very well. But now you have a lot of young architects struggling. So we need to have an inclusive association, bring them all on board, ensure that everybody is able to get something from the profession. And then um, I think the next one is T. T yeah. Yes. Um, T is total integration with allied professionals. I, we've talked about this before. The architect alone doesn't meet the built environment. There are other professionals that are equally important. And um, we can't start fighting against ourselves. We can't encroach on each other's stuff. I'm an architect. I know my job. I'm not the engineer. The engineer should also know his stuff, respect his boundaries. The same with the town planners, the estate managers. Not a situation where the town planner wants to become an architect overnight without getting the training or I also doing somebody else's job. So how do we achieve this? There must be synergy. You know, working together, collaboration, and I'm working very hard on that. We're going to be doing a lot of workshops, conferences together, so that we work together, understand each other. So all these problems we have of collapse buildings and so on will be reduced to the minimum. And then um, I think finally is the E, and that's empowerment. Very much. Thank you very much for your time uh, flying in from Lagos and then granting us this opportunity. Uh, we wish you the very best in your tenure as the president. I will be back to assess how far and how well you did at the end of the talk. All right, we've been speaking with architect Mongology at Deniyi, the president of the Nigerian Institute of Architects. Thank you so much for being a part of this show.
Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure.